How can we reduce the one body chemical that most decreases our loved one's long-term well-being? Cortisol is a body chemical that experts say our children have too much of, and the most common culprit of high cortisol is something we wouldn't expect. A little cortisol comes from daily routines of life, such as work and school. This amount is good because it motivates us to do things. High cortisol in a child comes from being nervous that something emotionally upsetting may happen at any moment. This may be hard to accept, but high cortisol in children is usually caused by their parents. You may tease them, thinking it's all in good fun, or accidentally compare them to other kids. We suddenly get angry with them or others, and this keeps them on edge. Even if you think you rarely do this, it's not the actual act that causes the high cortisol, it's being nervous that it could happen. This means your child may have high cortisol without you even knowing it. High cortisol is something that many kids have, even those that may show no outward problems now. It is a silent problem, where the effects are often not manifested until months or sometimes years later. You might be worried that someone will criticize us or say something sarcastic, look down on us, or assume we have a poor character trait such as laziness or lack of intelligence. Even if one of those emotional ambushes doesn't actually occur, the constant release of cortisol while in a state of high alert is damaging to our long-term well-being. Hundreds of studies have been done on children's cortisol levels, and researchers conclude that those with consistently high cortisol levels are far more likely to have substance abuse problems, commit crimes, make poor life choices, and have less happy lives. A study published in the journal Child Development even found that children with elevated cortisol levels are more likely to experience learning deficits and cognitive delays. High cortisol is like smoking. It won't hurt us the first time or maybe even after a few months, but over the long term, it does significantly decrease our well-being. We're not only more likely to make poor choices, we're also more likely to be depressed, anxious, angry, or easily triggered. Thankfully, parents who learn about high cortisol and who start watching for it can reduce it dramatically and can even reverse its negative effects. Future videos will teach us the top ways science has found to notice and reduce high cortisol in our homes and walk us through easy exercises and daily motivational tips that can turn your home into an emotional safe haven. Now that we've learned that we work to reduce high cortisol, what body chemical should we focus on increasing? The answer to that question is the subject of our next video.